So, hello everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be answering the question, if you are being shot at, is it worth your effort to try and take cover behind the pile of snow, okay? So a couple of weeks ago, I had a pile of snow here that was about four feet high and went back about four feet, right? So it was about four feet thick and I shot through it. Uh, towards that pile of dirt there, I shot through it with the AR-10, right? So I shot uh, 308, um, and uh, I, sh I shot it with the intention of recovering the bullets and kind of verifying to myself that the snow would, in fact, stop the bullets. Now, uh, in this snow, I, I, when I basically I had plowed this back with the tractor, um, I generally curled the bucket up when I pushed the snow because I want to try not to pick up gravel right uh but sometimes i still get a little bit of gravel in there so here i am today looking for the bullets i can see some of the bullets actually did hit the gravel right like you got this one here okay so that hit gravel that hit gravel which has obviously broken up however there's some jacket in there however these guys over here are intact and these did not hit gravel. Okay, so these are 308 rounds. So these are perfectly intact, perfectly round, smooth, no deformations. Okay, so these look like they got stopped like within two feet. Okay, uh, now some of them, again, the, the, the snow pile was uneven, right? So it wasn't like a uniform three feet or four feet along the whole way through. Uh, it was uneven. Some of them made it further back. Uh, just a little further back over here. So I've got one here. This one's actually broken up. So this one, this one hit gravel, right? I can see how the how it broke up. Put it back in the same spot in case I want to look at it again. This one over here. This one's intact. So that just got stopped by the snow. That same spot. Uh, here you go, here's another one. Okay, intact. No markings. That just got stopped by the snow. Uh, I know I saw another one somewhere over here. One, two. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, um, so yeah, within, within two to three feet, 308 will get stopped by snow. Okay? So if you're being shot at, absolutely if you got a snow pile take cover behind that snow pile okay now i've also shot shot it with nine millimeter uh, a different spot different location the nine millimeter basically uh same thing happened although the, the the nine millimeter all got stopped at about two feet um the it's you know the, it seems like the 308 in some instances travel went a little bit further but not significantly so that's interesting because you might expect that the 308 would travel a lot more. Uh, but what's happening is, see, see, the snow is water, so it doesn't compress. Now, it's not as, because it, here's the thing, if you shoot 9mm or 308 through at, at, at like milk jugs, you, they're going to penetrate about 4, okay? Regardless of whether you're shooting 9mm or 308. Um, so, so basically, how is that possible? Well, what's happening is that the energy is being transferred to the water. And what happens is the 308 just throws the water further. It just splashes it further when it goes through it, okay? But the penetration is about the same, whether you're shooting 9mm or 308. Um, so, this, uh, so we're kind of seeing something similar with the snow, but not exactly because the snow... Uh, it's it, it does have more holes in it. It's, it's got more air in it, right? So snow is not as compact as water, right? See water back there. It's not as compact as water. So the so that's why we're seeing a little bit. We're seeing the 308 get more travel through the snow, but it's only two to three feet. So if you've got a snow pile that's been plowed and you're being shot at, absolutely. I don't care. You know, if even if they're shooting you at you with an AR-10 take cover in that snow pile uh it will give you some some protection um so let me know what you guys think drop some comments below and i'll talk to you soon